In our journey of faith it's crucial to focus on the right reasons for following God. It's easy to become entranced by the miracles, the promise of heaven, or the other blessings we may receive from God. However, we must take care not to let these gifts overshadow our true purpose of worship. The Pitfalls of Idolizing Divine Gifts When the blessings themselves become the focus of our worship, we risk turning them into idols. Exodus 23-4 instructs, You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in any form. This commandment warns us against placing anything, even God's own blessings, above God Himself. Genuine Worship True worship springs from a heart that loves God purely for who He is, not for what He can provide. Psalm 102-3 tells us, Serve the Lord with gladness, come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. These verses remind us that our service and worship should be joyful responses to God's identity and presence, not transactional acts driven by desire for reward. The Peril of a Transactional Faith Jesus cautioned against a transactional approach to faith in Luke 14 12-14, where He advised inviting the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind to a banquet rather than friends who might repay the favor. This teaching challenges us to reflect on our motivations for following God, are we in it merely for the blessings, or out of a genuine love for God? Loving God Authentically John 4 23-24 calls us to worship in spirit and truth indicating that true worshipers will worship God through their genuine spiritual connection and truthful intentions. This means engaging with God not because of what we can get out of the relationship, but because we cherish the relationship itself. Conclusion Let us be friends of God who delight in His presence, not mercenary seeking gain. Our love for God should be the core of our worship, not the blessings we might receive. As we grow in faith, let our worship reflect our deep love and reverence for God, who first loved us unconditionally.